you are the main sponsor of vocal people in Nigeria. Namdekano slams Gumi. Namdekano made the remark in response to Gumi's claim that IPOP was killing security operatives in the southeast while bandits only abducted students for money. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdekano, on Thursday accused Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi of being the main sponsor of banditry and terrorism in Nigeria. Kano made the remark in response to Gumi's claim that IPOP was killing security operatives in the southeast while bandits only abducted students for money. Speaking through the spokesman of IPOP, Ima Powerful, Kano insisted that Gumi was a boko with no empathy for victims of terrorism in the country. IPOP leader dared Gumi to stop twisting facts, stressing that the group was not against northerners in the southeast but Boko people. A statement sent to Daily Post by powerful reads, the attention of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP led by Mazi Namdekano has been drawn to the latest ranting and ridiculous claims by Boko people apologist Sheikh Abubakar Gumi that IPOP and Eastern Security Network ESN were killing Northerners. There is no iota of truth in such mischievous and fallacious claims. In case the self-acclaimed Islamic cleric has forgotten, may we remind him that neither IPOP nor Eastern Security Network is a Boko organization or killers like his bandit clients and alias. Spilling of blood is never part of our mandate. Eastern Security Network is a child of necessity created for defense of our ancestral land against the Boko people and killer headsmen wrecking havoc across our community. Eastern Security Network is only defending our helpless mothers and sisters who have been raped, maimed and attacked without any justification by Fulani headsmen. Since December 2020, when Eastern Security Network was set up by our leader, these vampires have, have been on the run because of the heat from our gallant operatives across Nigeria and Biafran Forest. For Sheikh Gumi, who never gave a hoot why killer headsmen rampaged our communities to try to twist the fact now is only mischievous but an act of terror itself. No Nottana in any part of Biafran land can prove that he or she at any time been attacked by IPOP or Eastern Security Network. We are only chasing Boko people and bandits and killings and kidnapping for ransom in our land. Gumi should be ashamed that an Islamic cleric, as he claims, has suddenly become a mouthpiece for bandits and Boko people. Why does Gumi have special interest in bandits and Boko people? It's an indication that he is a Boko person but has never shown any empathy to the victim or any Nigerian. Why is Gumi always advocating for Boko people and negotiating with them but never? advancing the cause of victims of terror. What does Sheikh Gumi have in common with bandits and Boko people? Gumi only want to blackmail IPOP and Eastern Security Network with fabricated propaganda that we are attacking Northerners so as to provide more justification for his Fulani Boko security agencies in Nigeria uniform to come after innocent people so as currently doing this terror 
sympathizers want to lessen the heat on his voice by instigating the security agencies against us. Can you see why Sheikh Kumi should be arrested for investigations and interrogation? We want to put the world on notice that Sheikh Gumi is the main sponsor of banditry and terrorism in Nigeria. He should be made to face the consequences of his action for holding talks with Boko people and championing their case. He has a cause to answer in the atrocities, but we promise Gumi and his likes that no amount of distraction will make us back down on our resolve to restore Biafra and defend our ancestral land against invasion by Fulani jihadists. We are formidable and we won't give up on this mandate. Eastern Security Network will not allow any person to occupy our forest again. And that is just the humble truth, my viewers. Unam de Kano has always been um, intact in his uh, in his in his sense. He has always been intact in his sense. Okay, and um, you see, if you watch all Unam de Kano's uh, statements, you will see that before he alter his statement, he has done his findings. And aside from Unamdi Kano himself, a lot, a lot of persons have been saying things about Sheikh Amagumi. It has been Gumi all along. It has been Gumi all along. Gumi has been causing lots and lots and lots and lots of disaster in Nigeria, both in statements, speeches. And what have you? What has he not been saying? What has Gumi not been saying? A lot. Gumi has been saying a lot. A lot of things. Things that are very, very suspicious. Gumi, Gumi, Gumi should not be trusted. Oh, Gumi should not be trusted. Oh, he doesn't want to be trusted. Gumi doesn't want being trusted at all. He doesn't want being trusted because. If, if you trust him with his, with this kind of statement, you will you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at what you get in return. You understand? It doesn't work being trusted. So with this that is happening, I am saying that we should we should come, we should we should be watchful and be careful. And be careful of someone of this kind.